Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I have another pair of Salomon boots or shoes for review. Let's find out what these are. These are the all new, well, fairly new on the market, Salomon Predict Sock. Yes, trail running shoes. Now, before I get into the review, let me just tell you. These are advertised as a trail running shoes currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below. I think it will change because these are really not much of a trail running shoes. It's more of a road running shoe. All right, keep that in mind. Other than that, besides this little kind of misadvertisement on, I guess, Salomon's part or Amazon's part, I don't know, whoever. Uh, these are really great, very, very comfortable, definitely lightweight. Great outsole for the road running, not for the trail that much, but for the road running is definitely great. The only thing to save you time on this review is they do run a little bit on the bigger side. Keep that in mind, all right? A little bit of too much extra space there. But let's get into the review. As some of you already know, this review is specifically for my Ultimate Survival Boots section. Yes, and I know this is not a boot and... Uh, not sure how good it would be for survival, but uh, well, let's find out how to make the judgment. We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Criteria that would contribute to your survival if something bad happened and uh, this is the shoe that you were wearing or you had it in the house and you put it on and now you had to survive. I don't know, run for extended periods of time, climb somewhere, fight, I don't know, do whatever is necessary to survive. All right, let's start with the criteria number one. Comfort level, of course, one of the more important ones. And in order to test the comfort level of all the shoes and boots that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk, no pauses in between, and then I continue wearing the shoes for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is about eight hours. Like I said, these are very, very comfortable. I do love the comfort level of these. There are, of course, a few different factors that contribute to this comfort level. Let's start with the number one, the weight. And we got the scale right here. This is, by the way, the size 10. And they are 9.3. Very, very, very good weight. I mean, obviously, I did not expect anything less from these running shoes. They are supposed to be light. They are definitely are. Now, to give you kind of a reference whenever it comes to the numbers, the weight numbers, you are looking for something that is under 20 ounce if you want something that feels lightweight, especially something that you would consider running in and covering some long distance without feeling that fatigue from the weight on your feet. Now, obviously, you will be fatigued from walking for extended periods of time or running for, for, for a long time, but not from the weight, all right, on your feet. You want something under 20 ounce, and the more under 20 ounce it is, the better, obviously. This is less than a half of that, so definitely, definitely a very, very good, impressive weight. There are a few other factors that contribute to the comfort level. Uh, one of them is the flexibility of the bottom sole, and as you can see, it is very, very flexible, so you can definitely run properly without any problems, in this shoe. Uh, let's get into the inner sole now, which is another factor that contributes to the comfort level. And here we have a basic Salomon inner sole. Nothing too, nothing too crazy over here. Now it is nicely shaped. It does have a very good arch support and a heel bed, but there isn't really much of the cushioning. It's fairly thin. And once you remove it, there is really nothing else here. However, this is the energy cell, Salomon's whatever technology that they're using for the outsole, kind of gives you uh, almost like air bubble in the middle that kind of protects you from the impact if you start running improperly, you know, putting some stress on your heels, on your ankles, on your knees, that kind of protects us from it. So overall pretty good, but I think the inner sole could have used a little bit more cushioning overall. Let's move on to the next factor that contributes to the comfort level is of course the the way the shoe feels in general right the fabric and the softness of the fabric especially here in the toe box and as you can see it is very very soft uh, in fact that's why it's called predict sock s-o-c because it feels like a you're wearing a sock right as you can see so just nicely wraps around your foot and uh, it's a very stretchy, very soft material. Definitely very good. Now, somebody who's not used to this, 
uh, might feel a little bit weird at first uh, kind of feels unusual but you know running especially in these definitely definitely feels good i like it overall so on the comfort level i do like these a lot let's move on to the criteria number two proofing and protection not much to talk about proofing these are not waterproof in any way uh not much to talk about the protection here either uh i mean the toe is super soft anything that falls on your toe you definitely go and feel it not much protection from the bottom the, this rubber is much softer even though it's a contact grip uh from Salomon, still it's uh it's 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 fairly soft so if you step on something that is sharp it will go straight through it keep that in mind not much in the proofing not much in the protection let's move on to the criteria number three quality of the design features now quality wise Salomon, uh, i'm sure you know that brand uh they they know what they're doing whenever it comes to the running shoes whenever it comes to the trail running shoes whenever it comes to the hiking boots they know what they're they're doing they have been around for some time and you can check out the reviews on amazon again the link is in the description below currently for this particular shoe there's not a lot of reviews only about 60 something five star reviews yes uh because they're newer on the market but if you check out some other salomon products you will find thousands and thousands of positive reviews so these guys know what they're doing whenever it comes to the design features usually here i talk about the lacing system not much to talk about here it's really just your closed uh fabric hooks that uh, the lace goes through um the lace itself nothing fantastic i mean it does its job does not slide through very easily because the strings are kind of flat and thin so yeah and then obviously the um hooks are fabric so does not slide very easily nothing really to complain about the only thing that i kind of not a big fan of here is this piece right here i'm not sure why salomon kind of left it like this in the air uh once you tighten your lace it's not really noticeable but still i'm, I'm really not a big fan of it i'm not sure what's the purpose of it i guess it's just a design feature but not a fan of this design feature let's move on to the criteria number four outsole traction and stability now whenever i do my runs and my walks i do it on a variety of different surfaces i start with the asphalt and then going to the newer tarmac then some uh, sand dry sand wet sand dry grass wet grass some trail surface um which is kind of a mix of sand and, and rocks and grass um rocky road and then some concrete and some marble and tile so this performs very good on, obviously on asphalt and tarmac the if you're if that's what you're doing the run on perfect this is absolutely perfect uh it's pretty good in the sand too uh a little bit slippery on the wet sand but on the dry sand this is pretty good because there isn't really not much stuff to kind of dig into the sand so it stays pretty flat uh on the rocky road it's a little bit slippery because it, it just does not have enough of of the aggression and uh depending on what kind of rocks you're running if if they're you know pretty big it, they kind of roll underneath this so not very good definitely very very slippery on the wet grass dry grass is fine on the moderate trail uh, it's not too bad if especially if it's kind of like my trail that i run on kind of like a sandy and dry grass then it's definitely doable uh but anything above average you know you're gonna definitely struggle there this these are not trail running shoes definitely not trail running shoes um oh definitely fine on the concrete and, and flat surfaces but keep in mind on um shiny surfaces like marble and tile these are very loud this uh <laughs> this outsole is definitely very loud on uh, stuff like that. So um, let's move on to the criteria number five now. Temperature. Uh, temperature wise, these are great in the hot weather. Very, very breathable fabric. I love it. Um, obviously, no point to talk about cold temperatures. These are not designed to be winter or anything like that. So we'll just skip that. Let's talk about the criteria number six. The sizing, like I said, they do run a little bit on the bigger side. So if you're size nine and a half, I would probably go with maybe size 9. Yeah, yeah. Usually I recommend getting half a size bigger for your running stuff, for your boots, uh, for your trail running shoes. But with this one, I'd probably get half a size smaller. Uh, let's talk about the criteria number 7 now, the balance of application. So if these really were your ultimate survival shoes, 
right? Uh, you put them all, or maybe you were doing your run and something bad happened. Would this be uh, good for your survival? Well, if you're a runner and uh, you're planning to, most of your road is gonna be asphalt or tarmac, and that's, that's where you're gonna be running until you hit the safe destination, uh, this is a pretty good option. But if you do prefer a little bit more protection, I mean, literally any kind of protection, this is definitely n not not um, a good choice whenever it comes to the protection. And also, if you want something that is versatile uh, on different surfaces, whenever it comes to, you know, if you're running on, even if it's a complicated trail or, or a rocky road or wet grass, definitely not a good choice. But overall, as a running shoe, I think this is a definitely, definitely great option. Um, now, the very last criterion here is the price. Uh, the price is currently $130. I think it's definitely on the expensive side. Uh, maybe because this is a brand new shoe that just came out, so it's new on the market, it's a newer line, uh, so it's still at the top of the price range. I would say this should be more in the 70s, 80s price range. In 130, this is honestly just ridiculous because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of much, much better stuff that you can get. Even if you're just getting a, a, a trail running shoe, there's a lot, just from Salomon as well, you know, not even talking about all the other brands that are available out there so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about the Salomon predict sock shoe what do you think about this review if you have any requests for reviews drop them in in the comments below thank you very much guys for watching this is firearms for america I'll see you guys in the next video